Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video we are going to talk about EGS engine, uh, the templating engine which we were talking about in the last video. Uh, but we'll show how to use the post command within the Node.js. Like if you have some kind of a data or you want some user registration form to be created and posted to the server. So we could use the EGS templating engine to create a get request to firstly render a form and then the user enters something and then the data is actually posted back to the server for further processing. So let's not waste more time and then uh, see how uh, this could be performed in action. So let's see friends how we could uh, create uh, and use EGS templating engine for actually posting of the data. Um, but in order to do that, you would need two routes. One is the get route, which would actually render your form, means when the user is exactly getting the details, so they'll render that form. So it might be a login form or a registration form or any other form. And once the user submits that data, it is actually posted back to the route so that where we could receive that data and then probably we could process it further. Now let's try creating those routes over here. So the first route what we'll uh, create over here is uh, the get route uh, where we'll actually uh, this is a get route for the showing uh, for showing off creation of let's say department because we have the department's uh, stuff over here like id or something so we'll use that so we'll say app dot get slash i'll say <coughs> uh, create department that's one and rec and uh, response so we'll use that and we'll say we don't have a oh we have a post create department over here so we could actually post it over here we, we could utilize that but let's firstly create this one and now over here i just want to response dot render so let's say i want to uh, create department so that's the uh, display which i want to render so because it's a view it's an egs view we want to render it so we'll just copy this I'll copy that and I'll uh, paste it within the views folder. So we'll just uh, rename this to uh, as create department. Uh, that's what we'll do. And in the test express server, so this is the name matches with that one. Okay, now let's go on to the create department. And over here uh, within the container, so we'll just highlight this is a create department. And we'll just gonna close this one, this whole stuff over here. I don't need a table or anything because we copied it. So just like a container and everything. Now, fundamentally, we want to use some kind of a bootstrap we already implemented in the last video also. So we'll utilize the uh, form controls from the bootstrap. So we'll just go over there and we'll just try to see the uh, bootstrap five forms. If you just search it, click over here. And you could get something like this, like a ready-made form for that. So you could copy that. We'll just copy it. We'll go back to the um, view and then paste it over here. Now, they are actually using a type and email. We don't want to use a type email over here. So what we'll use is we'll use the first one, which is an input text. And it's a form control. Uh, we can give an ID. Let's say it is a... Uh, for example, the ID or department ID, we'll call it. And uh, uh, div ID, email help, this is what uh, they are giving to uh, the email and other thing. We'll never share our email, so we'll just change it to the div over here. Because if you go back to this, so this is uh, like the email address and this is what it is actually showing. So we actually don't need this. We just need the email address and the password and the text boxes. So that's what we'll use. So uh, this is right the department uh, ID. Let's say we'll just give it over here. Though the ID should be technically automatically generated, but we are just viewing that. So we don't need this one. And we just want to give the name also. So name is equal to department ID. So that's what we want to keep. And then the second one is label for this. This is not the password, rather the department name uh, will give it. And then once we give it over here, it is not password. It is again a text form control and ID is department name and name is also department name. 
that's fine and we don't need this checkbox uh, we don't need this div uh, we just need a submit button and within the form control because this is a form uh, tag we are actually going to use the uh, method is equal to uh, post and then action is equal to let's say create department that's the uh, post method which we'll be calling it so in case if we run this and see whether this form renders so i'll just run node man and we'll say test express dot js so let's see we are okay so node man and test x oh it's test express.js let's go over there and we'll try to access this localhost and uh, let's say create department so once i create department there's a department id and a department name and then we can use the submit now what we'll do is we'll actually use the another route which is already there uh, which is create department over here that's a post route so i'll cut it from here and we could just actually uh, paste it besides this because it is linked to this one so create department post so what we'll do here is so firstly we'll get let id is equal to rec dot body dot department id and let d name is equal to rec dot body dot d name so that's what we do and then uh, because it is going to be an object so let's say uh, new department is equal to id is id and then d name is d name so that's what we create and finally we just want to push that whole department object into uh, this so we'll just say simply new department and then we just want to rather than saying a response.json so we'll actually push it to uh, response dot redirect and we'll say show departments so because we have three departments so once it is new is created so we'll be actually getting a new department and let's see how it works or not so let's firstly see the show departments whether it works so if we see the show department actually gives us one two three legal tech and these are all the departments now what i want to do is i want to create a department so once I create a department, I give an ID four, and let's say this is a test department, something like this. Just want to submit that. The moment will submit it. Okay, so the number four is created, but this name is not coming around. Why? So we just need to go back and check it out. The name which we gave, uh, that is ID is DPT name, and this is DPT name. So copy that, and then we'll go back to the test express server D name it is department name rather than d name so we'll restart the server we'll go back so let's say show departments so because the server is restarted the data is not persisted so it just shows the three departments so we'll go on to the next one which is uh, create a department so let's say create department and number four and let's say the department name is test department so once we give that submit it see one two three four yes this fourth department has been added so you want to add a more let's say create department this is fifth and then let's say this is another one which is for example ui and ux department so we'll submit that yes so you now we have five departments all those departments are coming from a a data structure object which is an array of objects so this is how it's very easy you could just like uh, use your uh, stuff get the things done so we just created one get route to actually render that whole form once the form is rendered you actually use the post to actually do that in your create department we use form method so which means we are posting the data to the server and once we have posted to which action the data should be posted so remember guys we need to uh, remember these names because these are the actual names which would be used in the rec dot body so whatever the names you write over here we need to receive it within the uh, this place that is rec dot body dot department 
So I uh, hope guys this video is going to be helpful to you. You could create some simple forms, CRUD operations to post some data, display that data within the EJS templating engine. It could be uh, good for you. The basic design could be just uh, used with bootstrap. You don't have to be like a technical designer or a great CSS designer. I'll be coming back with more videos in case you have not already subscribed to my channel. Please do subscribe it and have a good one. Thank you.